What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you episode 3 of my Double L series. I apologise that this wasn't out yesterday when the content actually dropped. It's because those packs I just wanted to upload as soon as I could because that's the best thing I have ever packed uh, for a very, very, very long time. Certainly on FIFA 21. If you haven't checked it out, it's the video before this one and it's well worth it. The reactions are top class. Obviously the title gives away quite a bit, but anyway, EA released quite a bit yesterday. I was quite uh, happy with the content drop overall, so a little spoiler for if it's a dub or an L. Uh, first of all, we got this, which I've already done. Uh, the new Allegiance Friendlies objective. It's the same as last week, except different requirements. So this time you just need three leagues in your squad. Uh, so win four, score ten, assist eight. You don't unfortunately get a 75 plus pack each objective, but overall you get the kit, you get obviously some T4 items as well as a premium gold players pack. Now I like this because you get a pack as well as the uh, kit and some other T4 items as opposed to this where it was just the kit, no pack and a couple of other T4 items. You know, early on FIFA, of course, we want the packs. You want to try and pack whatever you can, particularly when there's promos on. So for me, it's a win. Uh, it didn't take me very long. It actually took me longer to get the assists. I got the wins and the score before I got the assists. Uh, so, you know, that one's a win for me. Big dub. Uh, then we've got one to watch Jota. This is the first objective card that you can work towards. Uh, it's quite simple to get. There's two squad battles. Um objectives they are skilled in battle and portuguese pro so you need a league and os player and just score uh, very very easy there in four different games and assist in five separate squad battles with players with four star minimum skill moves easy as well there's so many of those that you can possibly get uh, not a problem the rivals bits you've got through talent which is assist with portuguese players of course you could do it with diego jota could do it with bernardo silva you could switch it up and go and get someone like rafa and maybe hybridize with the Liga NOS team. It's not too difficult. Depending on your, on your division, like I'm in Division 2 at the minute, which feels good because last FIFA I was around Division 5 most of, the, most of the time. So doing objectives is quite difficult. Thankfully, I've got a better team than most do at this uh, point in time, so it kind of helps with that. But yeah, it, it, it's difficult if you don't have the very best so obviously you want to try and get pacey players i did it with bernardo silva but again that's because of the other players that i've got uh, which you'll see a video on that later today i think it's later today that i'm uploading that one or tomorrow if not um score two goals per match in five rivals using a premier league player easy just get a full premier league squad uh, and then score for 10 finesse goals you'll accumulate that as you go uh, again with Premier League players so you know the, the packs you're getting are pretty good uh, gold pack small electrum which one rare three uh, silver three gold a premium gold pack obviously 7.5 electrum one rare oh wait sorry small oh yeah one rare six gold six silver and then a 75 rated plus player and then the one to watch Jota which looks pretty good and if he gets some starts, uh, you know, if Salah, Mane, Firmino get injured, he'll be the next in line. And he obviously scored on his debut. So it's highly likely that he'll get at least one, maybe two upgrades throughout the year. So I think it's worth it. And again, it's a free card. And if they drop a guaranteed one to watch, you don't like Jota, whatever, you don't think he's going to get upgraded, just stick him in the guaranteed one to watch. And you might get someone who you do want to use. So objectives, big, big win for me. Uh, also, I've already done uh, bronze and silver. Bronze, piece of piss as it always is. You just play two, score in three, play squad battles and play arrivals. No bother whatsoever. Silver, I'm a bit annoyed with the mystery ball finesse. What I did, I just got one of my mates because your record doesn't count on friendly. So I invited him, asked if I could you know, score finesse. He backs out. There you go. Jobs are good. And saves you 20 uh, minutes. Finesse, it's... <laughs> Easy, easy, self-explanatory, piece of piss. Again, scoring four, very, very easy. And assist with a cross. Uh, if you are struggling with this, even though crosses are pretty good this year, uh, I would recommend you jump onto squad battles and complete that one. And then we've got uh, gold one, which is what I'm on at the minute. So the squad battles one that you've got, there's only one. I was just making sure. It's squad battles goals. Score three or more in three uh, different squad battles matches on minimum professional difficulty. That could be difficult for some people. I'm not entirely sure. Personally, I think professional is quite easy. I did eventually... Uh, sorry, early on, I struggled with legendary, um, particularly against the, the last two teams in each 
uh, refresh, like the ones that are 83 plus, etc. Um, but now, not just because of my team, even before I had this uh, ridiculous team, I've kind of cracked how to play Legendary, so it's not too difficult for me. But Professional should be manageable for most people. It's the three goals. It, it could be difficult. They probably should have made that semi-pro difficulty for, uh, for some people. But anyhow, uh, once you do that, you've got your rivals. You're just going to accumulate these. Week one is usually a piece of piss to do. And yeah, score a goal with minimum 82 shooting. You could get some. I think Jimenez has uh, over 82 shooting. It's quite easy to find a striker like that. Um, they just might be slightly slow uh, if you don't have the coins for anyone pacey with high shooting stats like Werner, Bomiang, and Mbappe, that sort of thing. Win two rivals matches by two goals or more, piece of piss. Score with a finesse shot with a player with 82. Uh, shooting you don't have to win the rivals match it you just have to do that that's easy again and then forward finish score two goals in the same rivals match using forwards easy easy you should be able to pick up that xp and as you can see at the minute oh actually i'll check the community no we're, we're never gonna get that freaking tier 5 reward we're barely scraping tier 3 here but anyhow uh i am level 14 at the minute on my season progress uh once i complete all that i should be at level 17, um, and then once the Jota's done, do you get any XP for that? Yeah, once Jota's done, I might even be level 18. So yeah, in terms of objectives that EA released at 6pm yesterday, big, big dub for me. And then the SBC that they released, I know I said I'm not getting caught in the trap of doing SBCs, but here I am. I already did the Dominic Calvert-Lewin, I said I wouldn't, and I did it because of the 100k packs I opened, they were untradeable. Got some decent untradeable stuff in that, so I thought, why not? At the minute, he's on the bench. <laughs> oh, I'm falling into the trap, I know. But I, I thought I might as well treat myself after what I got in packs yesterday. Anyhow, this Thiago Silva, 82 rated, one Premier League player, 80 chemistry. I would personally do this. Uh, I, I don't think he'll get any upgrades, I'm not going to lie. But when 85's booming price, when SBCs come thick and fast, 85 rated card... Probably won't cost too much more than this SBC actually does. But regardless, again, for the same reason as Jota, when they release guaranteed one-to-watches or an SBC needs a one-to-watch, it's worth having this Thiago Silva. Uh, and of course, he might get an upgrade. I don't know. I know he's, he hasn't started amazingly for Chelsea, but he might. And he's only 17,000 coins at the minute. So I, I would do this unless you really need every single coin that you've got then stay clear and uh you know try a different option i suppose would be my uh suggestion uh right i know it's got to be an 82 but we'll we'll see what i can get for chemistry uh surely i've got a german center mid i can use there uh wait there. if i do this midfielder uh, I might as well complete this on camera. I know I got a lot of complaints last year about not doing things on camera. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to rectify that a little bit. Uh, I know some people prefer when people don't do things on camera. But hey, well, I, I'm trying to mix it up. Doing a little bit of both, I suppose. Hmm. Right, the midfield is kind of uh, where it's going to screw me for the chem, I think. Uh... Although, we could try and... Yeah, Hulk should get some decent chem there. And then if I can get a Syria striker, preferably not him. Preferably someone who is... Ger not German, bloody... You know what, I'll use him. I'll use him. And then we'll see what we're like for the chemistry. Uh, we are... Oh, wow, we're on 88 chemistry. Bloody hell, we're... Wow, we're stonking the chem there. Um, right, uh, obviously I'm not going to use Wambasaka, but I want to see... Right, an 83 works... Does an 81 work? Probably not. If oh, It's so... Why can you only preview one player? They need to sort these menus. They really do. Um, no, right. Does an 82 work? Because then I can just get a goalkeeper. Uh, that should give the chemistry. Uh, does that work? No. Okay, so it has to be an 83. Fair enough. And again, look, you just can't do... Once you've previewed a player, you can't put another player in, which is just silly. Uh, they need to fix that. Also, another issue before I end this video that I have figured out. Uh, whether I want to see if everything is untradeable or what is tradable. Right, so we've got... Oh, wow. Most things seem to be tradable, but again, they're quite cheap, so I don't really mind. 
uh, yeah, that's probably cost me less than the uh, than the 12k. But one other thing I've realised: if you're doing co-op squad battles, it's not counting your squad battles milestones as playing squad battles. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Whereas on the rivals, it does. Um, so yeah, again, if you're struggling for coins, you're trying to you know grind your your starter team up. And you need every single coin. Don't go out and do this, Thiago Silva, because he, he's not good in game. You need pace. Fifty nine pace is just not where it's at this year. So if you're gonna get him to use him, I wouldn't, unless you're a Chelsea fan, obviously. But uh, yeah, I, I would personally only do this if you've got a decent team and, like me, you're wanting to do a guaranteed one to watch when they drop, because uh, there's one to watch promos also almost there for three weeks. And then I imagine the screen promo will follow directly after that. But yeah, just before I end the video, I am going to show you a little uh, problem I found. So on Milestones, if you're playing co-op, the squad battle's mastery doesn't go up. So this, even if you're playing on Legendary or whatever, it was stuck on 13 when I was playing with my mate to try and do some of the objectives. Um, so it needs to be ironed out because playing with co-op does complete the rival's objectives. So this was like 24 and then I was playing and it, it saved my progress. So yeah, they, they need to fix out little glitches like that, uh, little bugs, because, you know, co-op is one of the best things they've brought this year, I think. It's very, very fun and uh, it's nice getting this done. But of course, if you're playing squad battles, you want to also do this at the same time. But anyhow, I think today's content is a big dub from EA. Long may it continue. The trend last uh, last FIFA was one good day, one bad day of content. So hopefully that's not the same this year. Hopefully it's just win, 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 win. Because so far, big win. Every episode so far, two is this two, two or three? Regardless, they've all been a dub.